it's me, Soar, and welcome back to another episode of Pretty Soar! Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my daily makeup. I remember doing this video a long ass time ago. I think it was in 2020-ish. And I also do believe that all the things that I did to my face in 2020, I still have the same routine as I did before. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking, you know, what type of lipstick I use, what type of cushion I use, how do I draw my liner, how do I apply on my mascara. I will be introducing all of the products that I use daily to you guys in this video. If you guys are interested, please continue watching. A lot of the products that I'm using today is still the same stuff that I've been using for the past many many years. Because if I like something, I really stick to it. That's just my personality in general. I'm gonna start with my cushion. And I like cushion because it's like a lot lighter. And I love this cushion because of the coverage. And I barely have to touch up my face throughout the day when I apply this on. I like my face to be a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone because when I film stuff, I feel like I look better because my face is a little bit more brightened. Next, we're going to conceal using my concealer pencil. I still have a lot of acne scars on my face. So a lot of doctors have been telling me to get everything lasered, but... First of all, I don't have the time to do it. Also, I feel like it's a waste of money when literally I can use makeup to cover up all these things instead of lasering all my flaws on my face. That I don't see that it's a problem, to be honest. When people see me, they're like, oh yeah, she has acne scars, but like... Yeah, so does everybody else. When I'm on screen or on shoots, they can literally cover it up by using Photoshop. So I'm just like, hmm. I'll do it when I got money. Too broke for that shit at the moment. My favorite powder of all time. Innisfree and no sebum. Just need it so that I don't look oily. That's all. That's literally it. Next, moving on to my brows. I love using my powder brows. Go for the brush like this. And I just... Fill it up. I like when my brows are longer, like all the way to here. My natural brows are pretty short, so I like to drag it out. Then I like to brush it off a little bit. That it looks more natural. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use a eyebrow mascara to kind of lighten up our brows so that I don't look too strong on screen. Apply it lightly. I've been using these two blushes recently. This one I've been using a very long time from Benefit, and then this is a new one from Clio. I went to Korea last time and I got it and I think it's really cute so I think I'm gonna use this today a very youthful color I would say it makes me look younger and we love that because I am getting older holy shit I am 27 holy shit <laughs> I love my nose looking really really snatched when my nose are super snatched I look more westernized and I love that I use a um, contour powder Use a brush and I will start to control my nose first. Create like a bridge to make it look feel snatched. This side. Whoa! <laughs> then I'm gonna contour my face. I don't know if this thing actually works. But I just contour for the sake of it Moving on to our eye makeup I'm gonna start off by using this palette I'm gonna use the light brown color 
as a base first. Okay. And then use a smaller brush to apply it on my bottom part of my eyes. Next, I'm gonna use this darker brown right here. Apply on the same freaking area. Left and right. This might be the worst tutorial you've ever watched because I feel like I barely tell you guys anything or say anything about my makeup. But it's also because I don't really know much about it. So I don't really know what to explain. Okay, next, we're gonna use this darkest brown in this palette. Use a smaller brush and I'm just going to apply only on this side to create some sort of like smoky vibe Use the darkest brown color and then we're just gonna fill up this bottom part a little bit That's it I'm gonna fill in our eyes. A crayon pen, the color brown. Fill this up. Then the next step is one of the steps that a lot of people until today still ask me how I draw my wing liner. I've been using this gel liner from Maybelline for forever. And this is the pencil that comes with it. And I love this brush so much because it's so easy to draw. What you do is you just stab the brush into the product. And then I look at myself in the mirror because I have a really droopy eye. So I always have to draw my lines up so I don't look any droopier than I already am. Is that correct English? I'm not sure. Anyways, you guys know what I mean. I'm gonna draw up. Yep, that's literally all I do. I draw up and then I'm gonna just draw another line to connect it to make like a triangle. Yep, that's literally it. And then you just fill it up. Yay! And that is literally all I do, my friends. But this takes practice. You also need to understand your eyes really well. Some people like to draw it straight. Some people like to draw it longer. Some people like to draw it higher. Some people like to just have a shorter wing. I know that my camera is getting old because it sometimes switches from really bright light to like really, really dark. It's kind of annoying, but I think I should get myself a new camera soon for next year if I want to vlog more. Okay, next step, we're going to kind of give my eye a little bit of like a this smoky vibe right here. This color, and we're going to kind of contour around on top of the liner. And then, I'm gonna fill up the bottom part. Next up is my mascara. So I recently got my lashes perm. I get my lashes perm every month and a half. I feel like it's way more convenient when I do makeup too because I don't have to use this anymore like I literally don't need this uh, I'm using two different products today I recently switched my lash fixer to this product from Etude I used it when I used this when I was a trainee before and I recently switched back to this product mascara from naming While I wait for that to dry, just 
to work on our bottom lashes. Then I'm gonna apply my second coat. Next will be my lip color. I've been going around between these two new Maybelline matte ink that looks exactly the same. It looks a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. Also, the YSL lipstick that I'm using at the moment is also the same shade. So I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't own any other shade of lipstick in my bag. I'll probably go with the lighter one and I'm pretty sure I will add on some other color on top of it. I usually just use my finger to <laughs> apply on my lipstick. I don't know why I do that. Next is gloss. Been in love with this Too Faced lip injection gloss. Been using this for years now. Wow! And yes, that is pretty much it. Let me go wash my hands and take my... Oh! <laughs> I totally forgot to spray my fixer spray. Ah! Whoa! Yay! Woohoo! We are pretty much done with my makeup. This is what it looks like up close. Yeah! And before I go, I just wanna say it's almost the end of 2023! Holy! Whoosh. This year literally went by so fast. I think I've accomplished a lot more than the year before and I'm super proud of 2023 for myself. I recently got the opportunity to have my own Ever Solo concert here in Singapore and a lot of you showed up to my show and I cried like a friggin' baby. I hope that everybody who came to the show enjoyed the show because I did enjoy the show. I literally adore and love every single one of you who came. Everybody came with, I don't know, all the eyes that was on me. I can feel the love and support that you guys give me. I don't know how to explain it in words and I was the only one who literally felt the love and support because everyone was looking at me on stage and like when I look into all of your eyes, I can literally feel, I don't know, this like support and happiness for me and everybody literally wanted to be there and you guys really enjoyed being there and it was my first time feeling that because you guys all know it's my first ever personal solo show where people actually showed up for me after CLC I didn't really get to meet my fans in person as much because there's not a lot of opportunity so everyone at that venue you guys were wonderful you guys were great thank you so freaking much for showing up also, I know I also do have a lot of supporters from all over the world. I thank you to every single one of you for sending in all the messages. And also thanks for all the messages through my DMs, through Twitter, through every social media, through my emails and everything. I've seen everything, I've read everything. I really appreciate you all. I'm also hoping that we'll be able to do a I don't know, I'm just being delusional and manifesting for a tour. Who knows, it might happen, it might not, but I will try my best. I really want to go see you guys in your country. I want to meet you guys, I want to sing for you guys, I want to give you guys a big fat hug and tell you how much I appreciate every single one of you out there. I hope it happens. I will definitely work hard. And as you guys might have seen on TikTok, there are some unreleased music that I sang at the concerts. So I'll be dropping that really soon, probably the start of next year, which is in a couple of weeks. So please stay tuned to that and I really hope you guys will like it. I hope that 2024 will be a better year for all of us. I feel really grateful for all the opportunities this year. Thank you so much for all of your love and freaking support in anything and everything I do I would love to do the same for you guys just want you guys to know that I'll always be here to support you please take care of yourself good luck with 2024 Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's and I'll see you guys next year bye Annyeong